I'm Bamidele Salako and I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. If you're watching me for the first time, welcome to the Canadian Immigrant YouTube channel. This is your one-stop shop for practical, current, relevant and reliable information and tips to help you settle and succeed in Canada as an immigrant professional. Now, today we're talking about a very important topic, which is finding an apartment in Canada without credit history or proof of employment. A lot of newcomers to Canada are shocked when in the process of finding an apartment after landing in Canada, landlords ask them to provide a credit report, employment letter, or even references. Having just arrived in Canada, most newcomers are unable to meet these requirements. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you tips to help you navigate this hurdle. If you can afford it, then you should consider booking a short stay rental like Airbnb for a sufficient period that will allow you search for employment and be able to secure a job offer. You can then provide you know, your employment letter as part of your rental application to a landlord. Also, if you have friends or family already residing in Canada and they're willing to accommodate you to you can secure a job, then it would make sense to explore that option uh, for your first few months in Canada. Most Canadian landlords have to pay monthly mortgages on their rental properties and are concerned about the security of their rental income. This is why they would rather rent out their units to individuals who are employed or who can show proof of savings enough to cover the cost of rent for a lease period. As a newcomer, there's a high likelihood that you won't have received an employment offer at the time you're searching for an apartment. What you could do in this case is to open a bank account first upon landing in Canada and then obtain a letter from your bank showing that you have enough in savings with the bank to cover the cost of rent for the period uh, you're leasing the apartment for. This could inspire confidence in a landlord and make them consider you for tenancy. A landlord might be willing to make a concession for you as a newcomer if you can provide a guarantor or a co-signer who agrees to pay rent on your behalf if you're unable to. So if you have friends or family in your destination city in Canada who are willing to stand in as guarantors on your rental application, then you should definitely take advantage of that option. You could consider subletting a room from the original tenant of an apartment. You will find that in Canada, lots of people are often looking for renters with whom they can share an apartment. In this case, you pay your rent to the original tenant who then adds your payment to their own share of the rental fee and pays to the landlord. However, this option works best if you're single or a couple without kids. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and found the tips I shared to be quite useful. If you did enjoy the video, kindly click on the subscribe button below, like the video and of course share with your friends and family who are in the process of immigrating to Canada. Until next time, stay safe and God bless you.